Good morning everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and I will go straight in with my creativity from last night. If you remember yesterday's video you will have seen that I made this card using two of the elements from that 10 piece die set on AliExpress that's incredibly cheap and I used the hat and the mittens from that set. Well, one of the things that I made last night was a matching tag that could go onto a gift. And I used the small calendar in that set. So this is one of the things that I, I did last night. Of course, Silver Twine from AliExpress. I hope my camera is going to behave this morning. So it's really cute. It's a beautiful size and I did measure them a couple of days ago in the video. So I used that to go with that. So that's a little set that I made. And um, I find my video, um, my videos, my, my dies, which shows you where my mind is. I use this little wonky set of frames to create that tag that I got a couple of weeks ago. And I also use this little um, set of wonky frames to create my next card that I made last night. And it is this. I made donuts and I'm going to tell you how I did that. First of all, I used um, that wonky frame set that I just put down and I used the styrene balls, the coloured ones, and I did a kind of sugar sprinkle background. And then the donuts, if you look at the dimension there, a cut from Dollar Tree foam board. And then I used two shades of brown marker to do them because, of course, donuts are usually a little bit darker on the edge. And then I used my Alma's toppings to do the chocolate on that one. And um, a few videos ago, I showed you how to make toppings for cakes and donuts and ice cream. So you'll have to go back and look at that one if you like the look of that. And I used clear glitter on these to make them look as if they have sugar on there. And then, of course, I used UV resin which takes just a few seconds under the UV lamp to dry and you've got a really solid little thing there to put on top of your card. Now the background is um, a giant sprinkles uh, background, so that's from Tuesday morning. The Sweet Wishes die, <coughs> excuse me, is from AliExpress and the foil that's on there is actually a silver washi tape which is from Tuesday morning and it really is gorgeous uh, washi tape, very highly adhesive and um, the texture when you're holding it is like the expensive foils that you get on chocolates. So I just thought all of those would go really well together. So that's my biggest creation from last night. And as I say, I use these wonky frames, but I will also show you what else I used. I use this in a stitch square frame die from AliExpress, and I will link everything below. I love these dies because, of course, you get to use the inner and the outer. It decorates both edges. I used my donut dies. I didn't um, use this section. I piped it on with my Alma's topping instead. And I used my Sweet Wishes, which is one of my favourite sentiment dies from AliExpress. These are what the slime balls look like, these styrene balls. And you will be shocked if you buy them because when you open the bag, they do quite literally fly at you. So what I did was I put a little bit of talc in there um, to calm them down so that they weren't as static. And um, I do keep them stored in a Ziploc bag. And uh, also, of course, silver twine. That's from AliExpress. This is great value for money and you get so much on a spool. 
And while I'm here, I also wanted to talk about um, other sets of dies that you see on AliExpress that may be cheaper and you think maybe they're not big enough to be able to do anything with. And this is maybe one of those sets. And this is a great set of dies with its, its cross-stitching around the edge. And when matched up with a label die or even um, a rectangle die cut if that's all you wanted to do and emboss it with a wood grain or something I'm sure you can see there that that makes a great snow globe now you can of course take bits out and you can create frames for shaker cards or you could have an even wider frame for a shaker card and um, do some heavy embellishing on the outside or you can just use like I've done here one large die um, on its own and match it up and I've stamped on this and used uh, distress inks to colour it and matched it up with a little uh, Christmas um, I don't know lights die bulb die and trimmed it off there so that I could put a little bit at the top but from a set of dies that are often overlooked because people think they're too small, it becomes something extremely large. And when you cut a little easel and put it on the back, and these easels do fit these dies, you get a really nice size decorative card that can be a snow globe or, of course, turn it over and you've got a fish bowl or a flower bowl or a plant bowl if you use the smaller one for a card so sometimes smaller dies are incredibly useful now also while I'm here if I can find it I got a new pen from AliExpress and it's this one it's a silver metallic pen and I am a real hoarder of pens so if I see something that looks, you know, like it's going to do something and it's much less than half the price of one that I can find in the store, then I do tend to buy it. So I have got some scraps of card here so that I can test it and show you. And I've got, turn them that way around, I've got black, white and I've got craft and um, this is a water-based metallic marker so let's see how it does there it is on black and it is if my camera can pick it up it is very shiny and that's good do it on white white is usually the biggest problem when using metallics but you can see that it shows up so let's get it in there yep get the camera to behave itself and that's highly metallic now I'll test it on craft and it's good on craft too so for 75 cents I'm very very pleased with this pen and I will also link that one below so I hope you enjoyed my little projects from last night my little tag and my oh so sweet sugary donut card and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.